Hi folks, welcome to the LZR or Laser Microscan Troubleshooting Webinar. The objective for today is understanding the learn process, learn errors, understanding displayed errors, correcting issues causing the errors, and accessories. The learn process. Let's start by assuming that the door was actually up and running before you began the installation of the Microscan system. You adjusted the door to the proper operating speeds. You verify that the door actually functioned properly and stall actually works. The Microscan system is now powered. Learn process continued. Does the system recognize the correct number of sensors? For a single door, you should see L1 and R1. Here we see L0 and R0. I'll touch on that in just a minute. L1 equals the left sensor. R1 equals the right sensor. For a pair of doors, including dual egress and independent dual egress, you should see L2 and R2. So left sensor, right sensor, and this screenshot, zero, the Microscan hub does not recognize any sensors at all. If this was a single door, you should see L1 and R1 for a left sensor and a right sensor. If it was a pair or dual egress, you would see L2 and R2. Learn process continued. The blue learn LED should be blinking and the orange home LED should be on. Blue LED, orange LED. If you do not see the home LED, stop and fix the problem. If the orange light is not lit up, you cannot perform a learn. Here we have a pair or maybe dual egress, L2 and R2 is displayed. So you have to resolve the orange LED. If you forgot to install it, you must install it. A typical magnet or micro switch for a home switch to make or close contact to allow that orange light to come on. Additionally, you want to adjust that range of that uh, home switch, and we'll speak on that shortly. Learn process continued. Press and hold the gray button on the hub. The system should start the learn process and should, you should see the following screen. First, you'll see clear area. We'll start a 15 second countdown timer. Do what it says. Next, you'll see door closed, a little camera icon. It's taking a door closed learn or door closed picture. Next, this next screen, only for dual egress, you manually push the right door open at least 10 degrees. So give it a good push during this stage, and then you'll be prompted to the next screen. The doors will open automatically, performing a door opening learn, and then they'll go to full open, perform a door open learn, and then next they'll start to close and do a door closing learn. Learn process continued. Next, you'll see this screen here. For some of you uh, young whippersnappers, you may not know what that is, but us old timers, this is a floppy disk, meaning the learn was successful and it's saving the learn information to disk. Next, the system will perform a reboot to verify the learn, just like your computer has to perform a reboot to verify a learn. This system will do it automatically. And then you'll see success, the main screen, activation output relay, safety output relay, stall one output relay, stall two output relay. But what do you do if the learn did not succeed? Let's get into it. Learn errors. The following four slides will list errors that could occur during a learn. If a sensor causes the learn error, you will see an orange blinking LED on that sensor or sensors in the event there's more than one sensor with an error. The error will also be displayed on the hub LCD, which is what we have on the middle of the screen. 
This would be an example of the hub LCD. Here indicates how many sensors are in air. NB number, abbreviation for number, and in this case we have one sensor in air. We also have an information icon, this triangle. Also the air listed at the bottom of the screen, or bottom of the LCD screen, height angle, indicates what the air is. We'll address that shortly. Height angle air. Again, look for the sensor or sensors with the blinking orange LED. The problem for the height angle air, the sensor is mounted too high or too low. That's probably the number one cause of a height angle air. The mounting height is six foot seven minimum to eight foot two inch maximum from the sensor LED to the floor. The next most common problem with a height angle air is the sensor is mounted on the wrong side of the door. Move, the, move to the other side of the door. Move the sensor to the other side of the door. And what you'll see on each sensor is a little red arrow. The arrow should be pointing toward the hinge. If you see the sensor and the arrow is pointing up toward the header, you've mounted the sensor on the wrong side of the door. The next possible problem is the sensor angle is out of tolerance. The mounting angle is 35 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees. You should be using the template that's supplied with the installation kit. That will ensure you'll be successful in that mounting angle. The sensor tilt angle is too close to the door. Check the sensor tilt angle screw is tight. There's a uh, adjustment angle screw on the back of the sensor that should be tightened down and it should be tight by default. Next, the sensors seeing the door hardware, crash bars, panic bars, etc., or some protrusion. The solution is to install LZR spacers if required and perform a new learn. We'll speak on the spacers in the accessories down the road here. EDPS air. <clears throat> here we're showing two sensors in air. Look for the sensor or sensors with the blinking orange LED. The most common error for the EDPS is the door did not move at all during the learn process. Meaning you started to learn, you saw the blue light, the orange home light was on, you started to learn, but the door never moved. You'll always get this EDPS error. So check and adjust the door for proper operation and perform a new learn. The door must open and close normally. <clears throat> the next most common EDPS error is the door did not move fast enough during a learn. Maybe you installed this system on a slow speed or slow moving door or maybe a low energy door. You'll need to increase the door opening time to less than nine seconds from full close to full open. Next most common error is the hub registers the door did not move at least 80 degrees. You need to adjust the home switch to break with very little door movement. I'll speak more on that in just a second. Or the home switch is not breaking soon enough. So what happens if the door moves 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and then the home switch breaks at that point? The hub is counting the opening angle from when the home switch breaks. You can see that uh, even though the door opens 90 degrees, the hub registers that maybe maybe the door only opens 70 degrees. So adjust the range of your home switch so it breaks with very little door movement. Uh, next possible problem is a possible bad sensor gyro. You simply would replace the sensor. Fields air. Again, look for the sensor or sensors with the blinking orange LED. The first number one problem for the field's air is trouble with lost pulses during the learn process while the door is in motion. Solution, the door must, must move through a full open and close cycle with the home switch making. Perform a new learn. Usually, this problem is a result 
of the hold open time delay too long or someone walked through the field during a learn and the learn process simply timed out. So if you have an extended hold time on your door control, you want to turn that down. You don't want the door to stay open too long and then the system will just time out and you'll see a field's error. The next most common problem with the field's error is a transfer loop hanging under the sensor. Trim the transfer loop if needed. You almost always have to tr trim the transfer loop in most applications. Otherwise, the sensor will see the transfer loop. Also, make sure the transfer loop is fastened down correctly into the sensor housing. Uh, we've seen in the field where the transfer loop was not tightened down or c connected correctly, it was actually rotating as the door was opening, causing a, an error. Boundary error. This error is very rare. In fact, personally, I've never seen it in the field. Look for the sensor or sensors with the blinking orange LED. Most common problem on a boundary error, the sensor is seeing the door hardware, crash bars, panic bars, etc. The solution could be to install LZR spacers if required and then perform a new learn. We'll show you the spacers, I believe, on the next slide. <clears throat> The next most common problem, the sensors tilted too close to the door and some pulses were lost during the learn process. Make sure the tilt angle screw is tight. That's on the back side of the sensor. The next most common problem, the boundary error, is a transfer loop hanging under the sensor. Trim and adjust the transfer loop and then perform a new learn. Accessories. Here are some accessories to help overcome errors caused by hardware or difficult mounting. Part number 10 microscan mount used for mounting on narrow style doors. Here the profile is the same profile as a sensor. We have an, an arm here that can mount on a narrow style aluminum door. Typically this would not give you enough room to mount on a narrow style aluminum door, but this 10 microscan mount will allow you to do that. Part number 70.5554, the sensor spacer. Use this anytime there is door hardware that spans the door width, such as an exit devices or push bars. And in some cases, spacers may be required on both sides of the door, depending on what kind of hardware is there. Part number 10, microscan-Y, used for glass or fire-rated doors when you cannot drill a hole through the door for the sensor slave or pass-through harness. Here, this harness is split and will allow you, essentially, would have two transfer loops, one going to each sensor. That's it. If you have any questions, you may call BEA Technical Support. Our contact information is listed below, 800-523-2462. That's also the same number for customer service warranty, and sales. If you wish to send an email to technical service, we have a general email box for all technicians, tech underscore services at beainc.com. For additional information, visit our website at beasensors.com. Thanks for attending, folks.